body of Hannah Atkins, the first black woman elected to the Oklahoma House, has been brought to the Oklahoma State Capitol to lie in repose. Atkins died June 17 at the age of 86. Her closed casket was placed in the Capitol's second floor rotunda on Thursday, June 24th. Her son, Ed Atkins, as well as friends, greeted mourners who stood by her casket to pay respects. Atkins is a trailblazer. Her contribution to the state has been tremendous. It's been the first African-American woman appointed to a position of such high level and such esteem. She's the role model that we all had looked up to. We find that looking up to her, looking at her values, and keeping our faith and momentum forward, that we one day could be in this office. At the, at the time the government development appointed her, it was at the time of an era of civil rights that normally an African-American would not have been here. But there's been others that came before her. But when she got appointed to that type of position and the level that she held, it opened the doors of communication. But one thing she said, even because of the position that she held, the title that she held, she still was a people person. She was not about the African-American just community itself. She represented the citizens for the state of Oklahoma. And that's one thing she has shared with us. And one of the things about tools that I do is look at what she has done. Hannah Atkins was elected to an Oklahoma City area seat in the House in 1968. She also served as Secretary of State, Secretary of Human Services, and Secretary of Social Services. Funeral services are planned for Friday, June 25th at St. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral in Oklahoma City.